I'm not Leslie, thanks for calling. Oh gosh. No! <laughs> ah, okay, so I've got to freaking hide around in this room before I can do the hand thing. <sighs> oh shit, it's back. Please enjoy this music while waiting. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Come on. I'm all right for now. And then BAM through the door. What the I was close. The ceiling. I just lost half my health. See, that's how you use high heels. You don't know what you're doing with those things, lady. We lost half our health to that foot, by the way. There's banelings. All right, so these things are blind, but not deaf, and they explode. So like my second wife, your your wife was blind. That must have been very challenging. You gonna keep that filter on full stream? Yes. Oh my god. What have you done to Ruben? Show me. Keep your emotions out of this, Jimenez. He brought this upon himself. We gave him a chance. Where is he? If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come, see. He's a brain in a jar. New light, by the way. It's how he hides the fact he has no pants on. <laughs> Vamp Vamptato hot tub? Oh, I don't know how, that, how well that would work. There we go. Happy Halloween. Yes, this is the this is the calendar centerfold special. Yes. <laughs> How many times will you stare? One, two, 
Three! <laughs> I'm mildly turned on right now. Only mildly. Impressive. That's a code for a safe. Where's the safe? Wait, there's some on the wall too. Is that the whole thing? Thing in the middle. I don't want to play the thing in the middle yet. I want to find the safe. Unless it's just further ahead. Take a picture. Yeah, I may have to. All right, hang on. Tabbing out. Hang on a sec. Wait, what? Come on. Okay. And ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Okay, I have a screenshot. Boop. Okay. This is despicable. What is this monstrosity? Despicable? Coming from the man using his own patience to further his own research? The irony of this situation is amusing. But even you must realize what we can do with this. This means... STEM will run. We can continue the experiments. And your assistance... is even more necessary than before. This whole project... from the beginning it was about deceit. Oh, is it the password to the door? Okay. Cutest vampire potato ever. Yes! I am adorable. Ah, ah, ah. What's this? I saw what they have done to him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed to keep his mind alive by simulating an artificial body. His consciousness is being confined to a metal straitjacket, a gear in their infernal machine. They have even stricken his name in humanity, referring to him by an anagram, Ruvik. A crude joke, as if spitting on his grave. I almost felt the urge to smash the case and end it right there. But my anger was quickly replaced by scientific curiosity. Reuben's legacy will live on. I will spearhead the next step. I will create something of my own out of this tragedy. Okay. What you see here is one of the first STEM prototypes. It requires a physical connection from user to host. Do you see how there's cables going over this zombie? This is the epitome of not my job. Like the guy running the cables looked at this corpse and was like, they should have had somebody else take care of this. I don't get paid enough to take care of this. And he just ran all these cords over the dead guy. But Beacon houses a newer version with a wireless transmitter. All the user hears is a high pitched tone and they're connected. We've gotten word Jimenez is prepping for unauthorized usage. We would like the trial run to be on our terms, not his. The high-pitched tone. In the patrol car must have been when Jimenez activated it. Joseph, Sebastian, Oscar. They were all pulled in with me. The stem and beacon. That's where it all started. 
There must be a way to get out of this world from there. Some things here that are to remain in the dark. Especially for you, kid. You're asking too many questions, ignoring your mission. Running from responsibility. Just like you always do. No, that's not true. You don't know me. That much is obvious. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me. Hiding things. I can't trust you. Not like this. You are not required to trust us. Only to obey. I like how there was a, f a light coming from her while she wasn't holding the flashlight. Cat! I think that guy's coolest power is the power that his face is always emitting light or shadow. Uh, Chip is not currently in the room. Cannot do that. I can make a different cat sound, though. Oh. And there you go. Wait, that's a ceiling. Am I on the ceiling? Wait, what? Okay. The floor and the ceiling flipped in the last five feet. Awesome. This is a long ladder. We're going straight to a hill. Actually, we're upside down. Maybe we're going up to the surface. Oh, no. Your team for a reason. Castellanos, <laughs> they know nothing, but they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. Crimson City Police Department. Listen. The police department. Why am I here? Provide such a zoom in on that. You guys ever seen those memes where it'll show like two dudes in like an anime and they're talking and the camera's just like pointing at their heads and they're talking? And then this girl walks up to them and she's like, do you guys ever think the camera angles in anime are kind of weird? And in the next shot, the camera's like right behind her butt. So you see like her butt and then like it's going upward and then you see their faces on the other side of her. And they're like, no, what do you mean? Clearly a scene where someone just edited the subtitles, but it works. Yes, that's that's how we open doors in the police department. With a high kick. <laughs> God, seriously. Oh, now you use your hand. What you playing? The Evil Within DLC number two. The doors swing both ways. They're equal opportunity. Wait, what? Just kick it! Okay, do I have to find a key? Okay. 
Will you play Silent Hill uh, when F when it releases? Uh, I'm I'm sure I'll be willing to play spooky stuff. This is the second. Yeah, the first DLC is like three hours long. We just finished it and we're starting uh, the second one now. We might finish this tonight too. Honestly, I'm really looking forward to you know finishing the stuff and getting you know acquiring the story knowledge, and then getting to the uh, the sequel, The Evil Within Two. Uh, I'm assuming, uh, someone tell me if I'm wrong, I'm assuming Evil Within 2 plays like Evil Within 1, uh, just the base game, because that was phenomenal. That's what I want to get back to. This isn't bad, but I'm... Oh, hang on. How's Lily doing? Great. Everything's going fine. Just wish my wife would be home more to take care of her. She barely took maternity leave, huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop. Oh, this is before Lily died. But we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger. But Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married. Let alone a child. So, for our newcomers here tonight, uh... We found some, like, bits of Sebastian's past. Uh, he and his wife were both, uh, cops, uh, or detectives. She was a really good one. Uh, she took time off while the kid was, uh, they had a kid that was growing up. Uh, the kid was with a nanny. The kid and the nanny died in a fire before anyone could get there to help him. So then they were both, you know, just super depressed. He started drinking, but only off work, but basically all the time when he was off work. So it ruined their relationship. She started investigating the fire, and she came to the conclusion that it was, like, intentional by some mysterious organization. And everyone thought that she was just crazy and in denial because her kid died. And then she disappeared. And he found her, uh, what she was looking through, and it looked legit. So he started looking into it, and he started getting in trouble because he was looking into the fire. But he lost, he basically lost his wife and his daughter. And, and their nanny, but... I guess she wasn't an important character. <laughs> Look, Seb, we need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories? You're getting out of control. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm on to something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. I want to help. But you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter. It was a loss everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? No wonder he always seems so closed off. So we've gone in like a loop back into the same office. Let's use my five seconds of stamina. And it's out. Julie Kidman? She barely has any experience. We don't even know anything about her. That's our character. Canvassing witnesses then. Let her see the streets. No, she's she's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it, but we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian, he and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. <laughs> She's so unathletic. Like, guys, I sit in front of a computer like 12 hours a day. I can still run on a treadmill for like 30 minutes plus while watching some anime. So, you know what she, that she needs? She needs some anime in front of her. That, that'll that get her running. Uh, yeah, I, whatever her taste is, maybe, maybe, maybe just like, something with like all boys in like a swim club or something. Maybe that'll get her running. I don't know. But god dang, she's a cop. 
This is crimson? This can't be real. Oh dang, the world ended while we were inside there. I just hope I can get there before he does. Oh, we heard that line earlier. But I guess for earlier we were like hearing it from the future. Now see, if I was uh, playing the first game where you could like pick up items and use them, I would be scouring this place for resources. But as it stands, I don't care. Because there's nothing hidden besides like music files. Although I gotta say this looks pretty freaking sweet. At least gravity is down. Yeah, for the moment. Oh, dang. The building I was on just left. Whoop. What? It says press space to shove. Oh, my gosh. I missed my opening to shove. I'm not sure if it's possible to go downstairs slower than that. We're gonna try to shove, chat. Yes, she's killed four zombies total. No, no, no. Oh, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Um, what is this speed? What is this breakneck speed? I don't... Oh, man. Chat. I can barely control it. It's too fast for me. Oh, thank God, a break. Now I can try to get, a, get control of myself. Get my bearings. What? No. I mean, shoving would have not required the axe. That would have been nicer. All right, chat. I totally missed the axe, and I would not have seen it if I was playing this off stream. So that one's for you. I would have kept trying to shove. I'm surprised we haven't relived the part with the bus yet. Beacon is close. Can't stop now. Where she was driving the bus. Wait, what? Uh... Oh, there's an oh, there's a hole in the wall. Okay, didn't see it. What's this? Niagara Falls, two thousand five. I like the demotivational posters. Have y'all seen those? Like, there's one that has French fries on it, and it says, "Because not everyone grows up to be an astronaut." <laughs> The past is over. You're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. You'll have to take your clothing and incidentals. 
Hi, Mark. Hope you and Chat have a spooky night. <laughs> Thank you, Kona. What am I supposed to do? Whatever you desire. But your assignment at the Crimson City Police Department is precedent to everything. You are a police officer, and you must live as such and act as such. I don't normally say this, but thank you. You shouldn't be thanking us. These aren't gifts we provide. You have a very specific assignment at KCPD, and all of this is in exchange for that. Okay, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize. Just show us you can do your job. Muck, your vampire collar is limiting your field of view. <laughs> Yes. That's what it was. My gigantic popped collar was making it so I couldn't see. This looks like a great place to get chased by an enemy. Oh. Mmm. Wait, what? Oh, is this a light them all up thing? Wait, what? Oh, you only have a certain number of moves? Oh my gosh. You have five moves. That's one. God, I hate this. <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> I has basically mashed things randomly until I see the solution, and that happened. Yeah, first try. I had to use vampire powers on that door. You said I shouldn't be. But I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. The mark. Looks like it might be my only way out. Sculpture piece one. Made of marble and appears to be ornamental. Looks like I need more pieces to fix the shadow. God dang it, I don't have an axe or anything. I'm just a poor girl from a poor family. Is there nothing in here? I mean, I thought there would be something in here I needed. <laughs> 